Thank you for having me. Wait, I gotta say this right. You ready? Okay, yeah. on tap. Hold, She's wait too hot for words, and we mean that literally. Marina from Hot for Words is next on Happy Hour. You won't want to miss this. <laughs> Okay, Hopper Words coming back to the bar for happy hour. We argue over the meaning of liberal, conservative, yada, 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 all the time. So we asked our good friend Marina, author of Hot for Words, to help us figure out what these words truly mean. Marina, welcome. Hi, guys. Um, How are you doing? You you us? I will just say, you guys were first, my first appearance on TV was with you. So it's been like a year and a half. And I'm so excited to you be were back. You TV Thanks virgin before you came to I know, I was hour. wearing this jacket, covered up with uh, my hair all up. And now look at you. And Rebecca was like, what's wrong with you? You wear the sexy outfits in your videos. And I now called you, you like, out. I called you out. I like that. She's sexy on her videos, and she comes here all we'll covered cover up with a turtleneck. Yes! <laughs> Frankly, I thought you looked sexy with the turtleneck, too. Thank but you. this is working for you also. Talk to us about the words liberal. Liberal comes from the Latin libera, which basically means a free man instead of a slave. So in 17th century, it actually got negative connotation because it meant lawless foreigners. And then in the 1800s, it just became, you know, liberal, meaning, you know, somebody who doesn't want to change, who, who wants to change the laws, the old laws of the government. What does it mean today? Same thing. <laughs> somebody Not who really. wants to change yeah. Yeah. the laws. <laughs> Marina, what about conservative? Where's, what's the root? The conservative background? comes from the Latin conservare, which means to keep safe, to preserve. So I think that's why, you know, people think that the conservative party will be the one that will keep people safe from the terrorism. Exactly. Keep it safe. Keep your money safe. Safe, exactly. Taxes. Yeah, I always say that they're trying to preserve the Constitution, preserve. but they don't when they're Republicans. They might say they're conservatives, but they're <laughs> not. We got another word for you, Rebecca. Bailout. I like this one. You like it's bailout. It's interesting because it comes from the French word bail, which I don't know how to pronounce in French, so Belle. people who speak French, which means a little bucket. So now, if you're in a boat and you have a hole, and you keep, you know, the water keeps getting into your boat. You you use a little bucket or bale to keep the water, to get the water out of the boat. So the boat, the boat, you know, you keep the boat float. Yeah, you know, I've needed a bailout a couple of times, but they've never been there for me. So never without the, the bailout, these companies would have been sunk. They sunk. 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 They sunk. Hey, exactly. Uh, they don't use the bucket. <laughs> they, but, um, we, we gave them the buckets. You give the bucket. Yeah. With the, the gun to my they head. They need to know how to use it right, so. All right, so next word, stock. How about stock? Oh, my God, that's the funny one. Do you know that stock originally meant torture device? What? Really? Torture device. It was a wooden device that they keep the, your feet close together. It's, it's basically you can't move your feet, and you're in front of the public, and they make fun of you. So it's a torture market, not yes. a stock market. Oh, kind of one of those minute, where, you're, where you're hooked in there. Yeah, you basically on public display. Yes, you don't for think mocking. it has anything to do with like stock livestock. No, it was a market a in London. They, they sold meat. fish and meat. And the same devices, the torture devices, were located at the same place. Well, Marine, it, could, it could okay. still be a torture device if you lose your money. That's the whole yes. point. It's a torture well, market. Don't tell me about it because I just invested in one. So what you invest in? Google. Tell us about it. Google, my company. I mean, not my, but the company I work with, YouTube. All right. So, so how did it work out? It's going pretty well. So how long have you owned it? For years? No. Oh, well, she bought it high. I wish. But it's still good, doing pretty well. I'm good. Yes. That's very good. Eric, you got I'm, one last but one? But my problem is do not check it out every day. They're telling us to ask oh, you about investor. Investor. This is a funny one because it comes from the old Latin invest, which means to put clothes on. Ah. <laughs> so when you put clothes on, you want my, you know, yourself look better, right? So you would I would be a divester? Yeah, I'm all for <laughs> well, a divester. she's a Google investor, so that doesn't make sense. Yeah, yeah divest. So when you invest money in your company, I love it. <laughs> when you invest you money in your you. company, you want when your company look better, you know, yeah. to make a profit later. Out of Can all I, the work. At some clothing, you know, you could put it on, and it doesn't make you look better. It <laughs> makes you look worse. Absolutely. Not in your case, Marina. Also investing. Um, Marina, which is your favorite, your all-time favorite word? I like floxinoxinophilophilification, because it means nothing. What? Say it again. Floxinoxinophilophilification. That's all one word? One word. It means nothing. Worthless. Nothing. 
Yes. I gotta say, you have to be the most genius businesswoman I know. She's hot for words, and she ends up on national TV, got a whole business, a whole cult following off of wordplay. And she's now the new GoDaddy. That's girl. right. Oh, yes. yes oh, my God. They, another you know, example of the person who can build a career online, and Bob Parson, amazing, amazing, um, also, you know, he created the company GoDaddy, and they contacted me, and I, I was like, wow, I would love to join your family with Danica Patrick and Vanessa Russo. Amazing. Well, we uh, we had Bill, but we had him on the show. Oh, really? Uh, the, when we, we took the show out to the Super Bowl. So he's all part of our family, like your part. Yeah, of so our we're family. all family now. Did we get a commission because we basically launched her? Career. <laughs> yeah, no. You no. guys were the first one. I'm so I'm so happy to be back. It's amazing. We're, all right, Marina. Thank you very much. Happy. Thank you. Thanks so much. All right, on tap, folks, come out. Visit us here at the Bull and Bear Bar in the Waldorf Astoria Hotel. Maybe we can launch your career. <laughs> yeah, and you can hang out with Marina. We're going to chat with some people here in the bar during the mixer. Thank, Thank you, you very so much. much. Oh my God.